So what is going on everyone? Fernando Silva here with another video and today we have an exciting one. But before we do get started, I apologize for the last video, the audio quality was a little bit different. We were using a different microphone, different camera, but now today we're back to all the normal stuff. So hopefully I sound good and we're all good to go. But today Microsoft actually released their beta software for their Microsoft Office Suite for iPadOS 15. Now, if you still wanna test it out, it'll work with iPadOS 14, no problem, but it's meant to take advantage of the extra RAM management and basically the M1 processor, but again, it'll still work with iPadOS 14 and older generation iPad Pros. But I did wanna walk through this new beta software because we're gonna go over Microsoft Office, the application, then Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel because the UI changed a little bit. We got some extra features. Everything looks a little bit different and I kinda wanna walk you guys through it. So that's what we're gonna do. So without further ado, let's get out of this view and go to the top down view, guys. Get right into this video everybody and as everybody knows with these microsoft episodes that i do i like to first test out how quickly they open up right so we'll start off with the microsoft office hub you guys got it you saw how quickly that opens and just to show you we have nothing in the multitasking so we just open that one up so you can see how immediately these actually open it's freaking crazy how immediate these open they're ready to go swipe through them and then we'll check on word everything opens pretty much automatically even if you just open up a template boom you're right into it so the first application that I want to go over is the Microsoft Office application because this one is probably the one that changed the least out of all of them in terms of UI functionality because this was the newest app that came out I think about six months ago. So, so what this app is here to do is basically act as like your main hub when it comes to Microsoft suite products, right? So when you go right into the home page, you get basically your last few files that involves any Microsoft suite products as long as you're signed into the correct account, right? So you can see that I have some Excel files, some Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, things like that. And then if you click on these dots right here, you get a bunch of tools, which I love what Microsoft did here because a lot of these tools are things that I used to use on a daily basis. And then I would have to go out of my way to go to like a third party website or some sort of tool or something to be able to get it done. But now you can easily sign PDFs, scan to PDFs, pictures to PDFs. You can convert things from PDF to Word and vice versa. Then you can go image to text, image to table. You can scan QR codes directly from here, create forms. You can rehearse your PowerPoint presentations with a coach, right? An AI coach. And you can also transfer files. So like I said, these are all tools that I wish were around, you know, a year or two years ago when I was converting a lot of PDF stuff into Word documents to edit them and then recreating another PDF. So now it can all be done directly from this hub. So literally, if you just click on one thing, you click on the file and then it'll convert it into a PDF. And then down here on the bottom right is just a create button, which lets you create pretty much any of the Microsoft Suite products, the main ones right from here. So if I click on, let's say Word, let's uh, do a blank document. And then all of a sudden I'm opening up a Word document where I'm typing saying, hello, this is Fernando, sub for more, if I can even spell. So this is Microsoft Word inside of Microsoft Office, the application, because if I go into multitasking, you can see that I'm still in the Office app. We have not opened a Microsoft Word on here. So you can see, that it does look a little bit different. And we're gonna kind of look at these changes on the Microsoft Word application. But at first glance, you can see that the toolbar has totally changed. You can see that the icons look very, very different. You have this button to make everything a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, which wasn't there before. So th these are all things that are coming to all the new Microsoft Suite products, or at least the main ones for the iPad Pro, or for any iPad for that matter. But then if we go back, I'm gonna delete this draft because we don't wanna save this one for right now, but then we're back into the Microsoft Office application. And then if you go over here, you can get go and basically manage your entire OneDrive file. So go into here, see exactly what's going on. You can see that I have a million different Excel samples and things like that. You can go basically manage your entire OneDrive directly from here. And then if we continue to go down, you have all these Microsoft apps. So you can basically, there's a hub to let you know like, hey, you don't have all the Microsoft apps. Why don't you go ahead and give it a download, right? So things like Outlook, OneDrive, OneNote. I hear Microsoft Edge is actually a very good browser for the iPad Pro. Still haven't tested it out, but we'll see how that goes. And then, not a big Skype guy, especially when Microsoft Teams kind of replace Skype. And then if we go into the settings, I thought that this was cool to so show your pride, which basically you turn that on and all of your like little auxiliary like logos get this little like rainbow color, which I think is cool, you know, love that, keep that turned on. And then you get to kind of manage all your storage account, your offline files, turn on your notifications and things like that. But overall, I love the Microsoft Office application as a hub for all of your Microsoft needs on the iPad Pro. Cause like I said, you can view pretty much anything. And then you can you know, view your account details, kind of do everything that you need from a administrative standpoint on here. And now the one more thing that I do wanna test out is actually, can we do multitasking with this guy? So if I move this out to the right and then 
click, click on another office, you can see that Microsoft Office, the application, does not support at least two instances of itself. We're gonna test multitasking with another application once we move forward. But let's get out of here and let's open up Microsoft Word, right? Opens up pretty much automatically. Let's open up a demo here. So let's grab this guy, a template, see exactly what we have going on, right? So one of the main things I like to test out is make sure that we have the cursor support going, right? Because again, you can see that this toolbar is very, very different in terms of how it's laid out. It's very similar to how the new UI on Safari looks, which is instead of having different tabs, the tabs now look like little bubbles and almost like clickable action items. I don't know how else to describe what these look like, but so we're in the home section. You can see that everything pretty much works. So I'm clicking and dragging. The cursor support is there. It's turning into whatever it needs to turn into. So we'll delete this, say hello, sub to the channel. Thank you for watching. Right, so you can see that that's all working. Some of the shortcuts, if you hold down the command key, you can see that you do have a lot of word shortcuts here, like copy, paste, bold. So a lot of your normal shortcuts are gonna be right there. So if I wanna do command A to highlight everything and then command B to bold it or unbold it and then bold it again, and then I can cut it and then paste it again. So this is all done directly with just hotkeys or your shortcuts essentially. So you can just hold down the command key, and start to learn them, memorize them and work on them. But then again, I wanna to go to the toolbar because again, it's a little bit different than what we're used to. So you have all your normal, you know, editing kind of actions like bolding, italicizing, underlining. These new icons are a little bit different like this marker icon or the highlighter icon. These are all different icons, a little bit more playful, I guess is the word to, to use with these icons. So you have all your normal stuff right up here in the home. And then if you go to insert, you do have a lot of options here now, right? So it's downloading some missing fonts right now because again, it's a brand new beta software that I downloaded. So you can click on page here to do a page break, which I'm gonna undo. So control Z to undo that one. You can add tables, add photos from your photo album. And you can see that it's integrated very well with iPad OS 15, no issues if I just wanna add this image on here. Again, you can resize it. Everything is very, very intuitive and I'm surprised how well it's working. And again, I'm using the trackpad right now. If I use my finger, same thing. You can see that it's very, very intuitive, very cool. And then you can see that it knows that it's a picture so a new toolbar comes up and you can see that what styles you want, you wanna add reflection, you wanna wrap text around it. So it's very intuitive and it seems like Microsoft is really starting to kind of understand and learn that iPad users, they wanna use a full-fledged version of Microsoft, not just a watered down dummy version of it, right? So now that we got all the insert ones here, you, again, like you have your shapes, your tech boxes, icons, and then you also have this add-in section. So if I click on the add-in section, you can now manage all your add-ins. So again, these are like things if you wanna add like a thesaurus plugin, you know, Wikipedia, you can add all these in to then help you get whatever you need to get done. So technically extensions work on iPad OS 15 on Microsoft Word, which is very cool. And then if we go to draw, this is where you can kind of grab your Apple Pencil. And again, before we actually grab the Apple Pencil and go to the draw section, I, I wanna see if I just grab the Apple Pencil and tap on the screen, what happens? Automatically I'm laid into the drawing mode and you can draw immediately on there double tap shortcuts to erase, they work fine. So again, hello, how are you? So Microsoft Office is definitely making some strides, like I said, you can highlight, do whatever you need to do, and then you can even change it and do draw with touch. So if you don't have an Apple Pencil and you still wanna annotate things and you don't wanna spend the $130 on an Apple Pencil, you can just use your finger and say hello with the highlighter. Right, so that is what we have with Microsoft Office. And if you go to layout, you can change the orientation, the margin, the size, you can then review all the stuff, which again, all the icons are very different. You can add comments for collaboration. Again, cursor support is awesome. It just feels very intuitive and it feels refined. It finally feels refined. It, it doesn't feel like I'm making excuses for Microsoft. And then you do have this nice little view, which allows you to kind of shrink everything in terms of a print layout to see what it looks like printed. Undo that to, to view it here and you're good to go. Then you can finally go into the view mode. So mobile view, print layout, like I was saying, add headers. Uh, Immersive Reader, which basically I think reads stuff out to you, right? It lets you to read it out loud, so I'm gonna close that for now. And then the final thing that I do wanna show off is that you can save it, send a copy, and I believe you can export it as a PDF as well, which you absolutely can. So the last thing I'm gonna check now is, let's do multitasking, right? So let's do the new multitasking, push that down, let's open up another version of Word. That works perfectly fine. If we grab this random one, let's click this, Control C, can we paste it over here? Yes, we can. So you can manipulate files, two instances of the same Word file. And if I go into multitasking, I can just get rid of one of them if I want. And then I'm back right into my normal Word document that I was using before. And now what I wanna check is what we were talking about before. Can we multitask with Microsoft Office at the same time? And yes, you can. So Microsoft Office 
does not multitask with a second instance of itself, but you can multitask with another version of Microsoft Office, or but you can multitask with another application that does have multitasking capabilities. So you can see that that works there. It's moving around, and if I wanna just press this guy, maybe do a little uh, sidecar view, just cause I have some small stuff that I need to move over. Cause let's say if I open up document two, press control C, bring it over here. You can see that it is working and we're good to go. And now let's quickly go through Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's open up Microsoft PowerPoint. Again, opens immediately. We're gonna go with this kind of template. And you can see again that the toolbar strip on top is what looks different. All the, the, the buttons and the layouts are a little bit different, a little bit more animated, a little bit more playful. And you guys can see just how far it's come from a, again, from a small watered down like almost viewfinder for your Microsoft products to now being able to actually get a bunch of stuff done, right? So again, you can add photos. Like if I wanna add this one in here, it's downloading from iCloud, let it do its thing. And now I can manipulate it however I want. You have your design ideas. So it lets you, you know, seem a little bit smarter when you're creating, you know, PowerPoint presentations and things like that. You know, you can draw whatever you want. Same instance, if I just grab this, touch the pencil on here, I can just start drawing on here. We can highlight whatever I wanna see. You can go into design ideas, add transitions, animations, play with the slideshow. Again, Rehearse with Coach is a cool feature because you can literally talk into the microphone and time out exactly what you're doing to make sure that if you need to spend you know, five minutes on a presentation for school, or if maybe you're at a company and you're, you're given 20 minutes to give a presentation and you wanna make sure you take up that entire 20 minutes, you can now rehearse that directly with Microsoft PowerPoint. And unless you, you can review and do any collaborations they need to do, and then do a nice little view in terms of how you actually wanna view the presentation. And again, same thing here, you can save it however you want, export it as a PDF as well. So Microsoft Office, so far, it's been, like I said, great strides. And now let's do a quick little multitasking in terms of how many instances we can do. Yes, you can. So it seems like the only one that can't have multiple instances of the same application is a Microsoft Office suite, which again, is totally fine because I don't know why you want multiple instances of it, but with these, you can have as many as you want, it seems like. So if I want to even pull up another one, so let's go into the app library, Pull up another one over here, put it in the middle. Now I have three Microsoft PowerPoint presentations open at the same time, technically. And now lastly, let's open up Microsoft Excel because I know a lot of you guys want Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is the one that's probably the, the one that's least ready for professionals or at least very intense Excel users. From a basic standpoint, Excel is amazing. Like it's fixed so many issues that even things like numbers and sheets still can't even do. So like for instance, something as simple as grabbing this, holding shift down and highlighting multiple cells those other ones cannot do that on the iPad Pro. Why that is, I have no idea. But you can see that, you know, normal functions work, so equals a sum of, you know, one plus one. You press two, so that's cool. You can smart drag and do one of these guys. So you can see that populates with everything, it auto-populates with, with whatever you wanted it to be. If you grab your Apple Pencil, tap on the screen, you're right into drawing mode, so the Apple Pencil works with Microsoft Excel. Draw with touch with your finger, that works as well. So. Microsoft Excel is kind of an all-encompassing, pretty much anything you need it to be, right? So you can do all your formulas, you can create databases, create whatever spreadsheets you need, create charts. I would say that 95% of what you can do on Excel on Windows, you can do on the iPad Pro. Where it gets a little tricky is when you get into pivot tables and macros and things like that because, because that seems to be in a lot of people's workflows when it comes to Microsoft Excel. But you can see as we go through the toolbar, you know, toggle to stop applying, copied side, you have all your normal stuff. You can do borders from here. So if I wanna do all borders, you can see that now this one has all borders down here, all your cell fitting, all your, your text editing, your eraser. And then again, it just keeps going and going, which is nice. The insert section works exactly like all the other ones, right? You have the ability to add from photos. You have the ability to add from camera. You have the ability to add whatever shapes you want. So if I wanna add that, and then again, with your finger, with your trackpad, with your pencil, it'll all work perfectly fine. Then you have a whole tab dedicated to just formulas. So if you wanna, auto sum some stuff up, if you have maybe some financial institution stuff that you're working on, all these formulas are pre-populated inside of Microsoft Excel for you to you know, be as efficient as you can when dealing with Microsoft Excel. And overall, Microsoft Excel, it works well. Like I said, if you're a basic Excel user, then this is gonna be plenty. You're gonna love this on the iPad Pro. It's gonna be amazing. The next thing that I do wanna test out, can we get another Microsoft Excel? Yes, we can. If I grab this, let's copy that one. Let's bring it over here, manipulate it. Yeah, you can move it over. And if I wanna do equals, the sum of these guys. As you can see, I'm using all my shortcuts and voila, it works as advertised. So that's awesome. 
So overall, Microsoft got some nice updates. From a function standpoint, maybe not as much as we wanted, but from a visual and UI standpoint, it just feels friendlier, it feels easier to use. And overall, like I said before, it just feels very refined. Like it feels like it's meant for the iPad as opposed to maybe a watered down version of an application or something that maybe they just grabbed from Windows and tried to throw it on the iPad to see if it worked. This looks like they took thought, they took some ideas and they sat down and they were like, hey, how do we make Microsoft the Office application as good as possible for iPad Pro users and continue to get better, which it has. So let's get out of this view and go to the normal view. So that's gonna do it for this video, everyone. Basically what I saw with this is that we're taking strides for this iPad Pro to finally be able to fully replace your Microsoft like suite machine, right? So for so long, we've been tied to the Microsoft Office kind of suite of products because that's where we work in the professional world, in the business world. You know, everybody just kind of runs in that ecosystem. We've been relegated to Windows 10 computers, I guess now Windows 11, been forced to use Mac OS because, you know, even though we've had Microsoft Office on the iPad Pro or on iPads for a little while now, it's been about, I wanna say four to five years since they first put the applications on there. It has finally gotten to the point where I can say, especially if you're doing basic tasks on Excel, if you're doing basic stuff, then you're totally fine using the Microsoft Office suite on your iPad Pro full time, in my opinion. Now, if you're going a little bit crazier on the Excel sheet, you're dealing with much larger databases, pivot tables, macros, those are all things that are eventually, I hope, gonna come to Excel. Like we saw, pivot tables already work. It's just a matter of how much function you get out of those pivot tables. And again, I'm not somebody who uses pivot tables on a regular basis, so I only know the surface level of what they do, what they're used for, and things like that. But you can use them, it's just a matter of how much functionality you get out of those pivot tables versus how much you get on Windows and Mac OS. But overall, like I said, Microsoft is making great strides on the Apple side, which is something that I never thought I would hear. I guess Microsoft, like I've mentioned before, realizes that there's a huge user base of iPad users that want to use their Microsoft suite, but use it professionally and use it efficiently and use it productively, not just as a, you know, as a, like a web reader or a quick like document scan or anything like, anything like that. They want to be able to actually use Microsoft on their iPad Pro and use it for work and use it to get revenue generating actions done. And I think we're pretty much there. PowerPoint is amazing. Microsoft Word works as advertised. Microsoft Excel, like I said, has a tiny bit of limitations, but you get 99% of the way there. And then the Microsoft Office like Hub app, I think is a great app to kind of be able to look at all your data at a glance, be able to add stuff to your OneDrive if need be. So that app, I think was a wonderful addition to the Microsoft suite. They did also update Microsoft OneNote, but I'm gonna leave that one alone for now until they update a couple more of the other apps. I just wanted to focus on the main applications that everybody wants to see. But that's gonna do for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully you guys learned something. I'm gonna leave the link to the beta program down below. Anybody can join it. All you have to do is download Test Flight. The instructions will be down in the description below. Just hit that link and try it out if you guys want to. Don't forget to check out channel sponsor Paperlike. They're always hooking you guys up, always hooking up the channel, making sure we stay protected. First link in the description below as well. But like I said, that's gonna do it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what other Microsoft products or other you know suite of products you guys wanna see on the iPad Pro and see if it's a viable replacement for your current you know, computer situation, whether it's a laptop, desktop, Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever it is, iPad Pro will eventually be the way to go. I'm telling you guys that now. Peace.